hi i welcome you to remedia one youtube channel uh, today we are looking at a trigonometric graph how we can able to graph it and then answer the questions uh, in this video we're going to show you how you can able to use a calculator to uh, move really really quick and then get the maximum max that you need in order for you to get your a you realize that i mean when you're completing the table you don't need to show your work all that is a copy and complete so you can able to use the calculator to move really really quick and get all the max needed so we have been given a table they want us to copy and complete and we have been given the trigonometric equation so we are going to go ahead and then replace these are the x values 0 30 60 90 120 and 150 so to get the rest of it so we need to complete it four spots you grab your calculator make sure it's in degree the degree is popping up here d if it is nine then make sure it's it pops up because we are dealing with degree if it is a radian, you have to change it back to degree so that you get the right answers grab the calculator and then you type seven Pause. now we are changing the angle to 30 so 30 close it minus 3 sine 30 close it and equal you see that you're getting in a, in the third form so we are going to convert it to a decimal so we'll go here and here we could see that the answer was left in one decimal place so here we have to leave our answer in one decimal place so we have this is 4.56 we have to stop at 5 we look behind is 6 we add 1 to this and that make it 4.6 so you come here right 4.6 go back and then 7 call 60 close it minus 3 sign 60 close it boom you change it to decimal so you get 0 0.90 so here one decimal place 0 0.9 you look behind 0 so you just stay at 0 0.9 all right so i'm going to show you another way you can also speed it up so already we have the uh, expression here or the equation over here so you just go over there and then keep on changing the number now we're supposed to get 120 so you come here you delete and then you write one two and the zero is already there you push it to this side you delete you type your 120 and then boom you get that you change it to the small and we have negative 6.09 so we're supposed to stop at one decimal place we look behind it's more than five we add one to this so it's going to be negative 6.1 so negative bring it back again then we're going to change the figure so here uh, 150 so we delete the six and we type one five and that making 150 we push it to here so we are showing you all the fastest way to make this thing happen then enter change it and we get negative 7.56 so it's going to be negative 7.6 all right so now we have able to complete the table uh, we move on to the b it said i use a scale of uh, two centimeters to 30 degree on the x axis and then two centimeters to two units on the y axis so we are going to go to the graph and then we'll make it happen and we have been given uh, the domain we have zero to 150 the y axis they want you to figure it out they didn't give you the range so you have to be able to figure it out okay so you have the table before you have already completed it i have just put it here so that i can able to make a reference to it quick uh, i'm going to create as is there is a max for that so we're going to go ahead and create our x and y as is okay so we have our y as is and our x as is and when it comes to the x as is each two centimeters is 30 so here every two box here is two centimeters so we have we're gonna have one here which is going to be 30 and here 60 90 120 150 make sure you show your degrees 
and this is zero. And now when it comes to the y axis, they are saying every two centimeters is two units, but you have to know where to stop. So here, one, two is two is two centimeters. So here we are going by two, two units. So two here is going to be four. We are adding two each time, six. And here is going to be eight. You come down here, negative two, negative four, negative six and negative eight so now we are going to plot the points so we can start from here zero seven so when it's zero we have positive seven so in between is going to be one so here one two three four five six seven so seven is here so you make a, a dot right here we use a blue color you make a tiny dot over there and then 30 is going to be 4.6 so 4 and this is 5 but we need 4.6 we need 3 because each little dot is 0.2 so we need 3 in in here so it's going to be 1 2 make a dot over there and then 60 60 is 0 0.9 so here is 1 so that is going to be in between over there so right there make it it's not on that edge but it's almost there in between that car and then you we come to 90 and 90 we are moving on to the negative so negative 3 so 90 negative 3 is right here and then come to 120 and this 6 point is negative 6.1 so negative 6 just in between because each little is 0.2 so it's going to be in between there right there kind of is making it big but that, that's how it's supposed to be and then the last 150 is going to be 7.6 so here is 7 and we count 3 of it that's going to be that okay so now we can go back to the question to see what they said we have to do they say graph draw the graph so we are going to draw and now when it comes to this trigonometry you know that it's not a straight line so you're going to use a free hand to do that so let's go ahead and use our free hand to join points together So now let's go back to the question. So now we are moving on to, we are done with the B, the A and B, we are moving on to the C. So C, I, we have been, they want us to graph, use a graph to solve this. So we got seven cos x is equals to three sine x. We are gonna compare it with a given remember the given was y is equals to 7 cos x minus 3 sine x as we put everything to one side we will get 7 cos x we are bringing this one over here minus 3 sine and x equals to 0 we can swap this way so that maybe you will see. So I'm writing the given, the one that we did graph is seven cos x minus three sine x equals to y. I will just swap it. So realize that now everything on the left hand side look the same. So on the right hand side, the y, so this implies that y is equals to zero. So we are gonna go to the graph and see the y is equal to zero. And remember y is equal to zero is the same as x axis. All right, so we are going back here. And y is equal to zero is going to be the same as that. So this is y equals to zero. So where did the line cross at y is equal to zero? As, I, as we did the quadratic one, we told you that the, the examiner is not going to really hold you tight into that. 
so here we could see that it's going through a little bit here okay so it's cutting the dot from here to here from 60 to 90 or 30 degrees so the 30 degrees you're dividing for the 10 little box so you kind of each of them is getting three so here we could see that maybe two of them okay two times three which is six so it's going to be 66 so here is cutting at 66 we, we could see that on the x-axis we get 66 so we can go back to our question and since we're using the graph we will say that at y equals to zero we get x is equals to 66 degrees and that answer that question sorry i'm writing everywhere uh, let's move on to ii ii has been given as seven cos x equals to 3.2 plus 3 sine we want to make it look like the given the one that we did graph so we are going to bring this one over here and we get seven cos x minus 3 sine x equals to 3.2 so we compare it with a given the given was 7 cos x minus 3 sine x is equals to y so when we cross everything we realize that y is equals to 3.2 so you go back to the graph and then we are going to draw a line at y is equals to 3.2 to see where it's going to cut let's go back so you go ahead 3.2 so this is 3 and 3.2 is in between there so you grab your ruler and then you I have my ruler here so 3.2 so i draw it to cut the graph that we got let me use let me draw to see where it cuts Okay, and then we trace it down to hit the x axis. Okay, so we come back here to see it's cutting at the 4, and each of them is, is 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. We add it to the 30, and then we get 42. So it's crossing. So here is just 42 degrees. So we come back here and uh, uh, it cut over here and we get x is equals to 42 degrees thank you very much for sticking with me to the end if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as we'll see you in the next video bye bye